Mr. Aragon, Ms. Rosado is your former girlfriend, and you have one child together. Correct, Judge. Your lawsuit alleges that Ms. Rosado maliciously filed a restraining order against you, which was dismissed after a hearing, and you want to be compensated for that. Ms. Rosado says that she had not only the right, but the responsibility to file for a restraining order, and that the court was mistaken in failing to grant her the restraining order against you. Ms. Rosado, I'm going to start with you because you were the one to file the restraining order. You and Mr. Aragon separated when? In June of 2010. And how old was your daughter at that time? One and a half. Where were you living in June of 2010? With Mr. Aragon and his mother. Where? In Denver off of like Pierce, 48th and Pierce. How long had you lived with her? Two and a half years at the time. And when you left Denver, you took your daughter with you? Yes. Where did you go? I was still in Denver, but I went and stayed with my father for a while. Did Mr. Aragon know your father? Yes, he did. How long did you stay with your father? For about a year. And Did then... Mr. Aragon see his daughter during that year? He did not. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Why? I'm, I'm not too sure why. I tried everything in my power to locate Alexandria with uh, legal documents from the court. Well, you mean you didn't know she was staying with her father? No, I had no idea where my daughter was at that time for okay. the whole year. When you left, Ms. Rosado, did you tell Mr. Aragon where you were going? I did not. I didn't want any confrontation at my father's home. I did, however, try to set up one day and have Mr. Aragon meet with our daughter. And After how long? Maybe two or three months. That's a long time for somebody who was living with his daughter since her birth. Yes. So why would you do that? I didn't like the situation we were in, and I was like afraid for my daughter. We did not have a good relationship at all. It is the whole reason I left. There was violence between us, constant arguing, and I don't think any child should be brought up in that type of a environment. Okay. Were the police ever called to? No, ma'am. During the time that you were together, did you ever file for a protective order? No, I did him? not. You did not. So you were arguing and you wanted to leave? Yes. And you left and didn't tell him where you were going? No. At least for a few months, yes. and then you tried to set up, and how did you try to set up a meeting with Mr. Aragon and his daughter? I had talked to him on the phone, and I let him know we could meet at a public place, and we did, but when I got there, Mr. Aragon had serenity in his arms, and he said, I could take her from you, and no one would do anything. That well, that's what is... you did, wasn't it? No, ma'am. Yes, it was. Oh, that's exactly what you did. You left your home with your daughter, and you didn't tell him where you were going. He's a parent just like you are. I want you to process that. That's exact. what I'm telling you. In 2010, that's exactly what you did. The two of you were living together, and had been living together for two and a half years. You were arguing. I think you're absolutely right that it's better for a child not to be brought up in a home where there's confrontation. I think you're absolutely right. But I think that there's an orderly way to do that. And the orderly way to do that is not to disappear and go underground so that you're in charge of his daughter. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. So that we understand each other. That's where I'm coming from. It's a neutral playing field. A mother has no more rights than a father. A child has two parents. Okay. So at some point, then he took the child and said, I could disappear with her and nobody would know. So that frightened you. Yes. Well, I would understand what frightened you, just like it frightened him when he couldn't locate his daughter. So what did you do? We left at that point. You left. And Mr. Aragon, when was the next time you saw your daughter? Your Honor, after that, I didn't see my daughter anymore. I, I tried to be reasonable with Alexandra. Um, I had no, um, no luck with that whatsoever. What did you do? Communicate by the phone? Yes. Yes, I, I tried to call her on her cell phone. Yes. When did you finally locate her? It took me a whole year to find her. It was, I believe, in 2012, I think, when I had got joint custody. 2012? Yes, I believe so. And at that time, Ms. Rosado, you had a hearing? Yes. In what city and state? Jefferson County of Colorado. And where were you living at the time? In Jefferson County? Yes. And where were you living? Uh, Denver, Colorado, um, 45. Is that far from where she was living? Yes.